one of the worst things in the world is being sick. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what we do as a family to, to get over it in a natural way. So for the past week or so, I've had a, a cold that's kind of progressed into a bit of a sinus infection. It's no fun at all. It's hard to breathe and my head hurts really bad every time I cough. And uh, now Alex has it and Annalise, the baby, has had it. And Laura Jean is lucky that she didn't get it very bad. But anyway, it's running this course through our family and it's just a really rough time. <laughs> but here are some things that I have done in the past excuse me, that I've done in the past uh, that have helped helped me get over colds um, and other things faster. And I swear by them now. And I notice a, a big difference when I remember to do these things. So I'll, I'll share these things with you. Well, I really think that the first and best remedy is always start in the kitchen, or in this case, the dining room table. <laughs> um, I went and bought this, even though I was feeling sick, I was feeling just well enough to go buy a, a big clove, or no, well, thing of garlic. I think the individual ones are called cloves, aren't they? So I don't know, a, a thing <laughs> of garlic. <laughs> take off one of them, and I peel it, and you chop it. And I like to slice it into little pieces like this. And just go this way. Right, those are chopped up. And just for size comparison, here is a thousand milligram vitamin C tablet, which I'm also going to take. Mmm, <laughs> my fingers smell like garlic now. <laughs> um, the reason I chop mine so small is because if I know I can, I can swallow this, then I'm not going to accidentally uh, choke on these when I swallow them. So I make sure that they're nice and small because I have a very small throat and I find it easy to choke on things. One time I did this and I didn't make them small enough and I actually <laughs> cut it stuck in my throat. And as you know, garlic, garlic burns a little bit. And the, the worst part was definitely just the feeling of having something stuck in your throat. All right, <laughs> for this part, I'm having Annalise's help. Hi. <laughs> you see yourself? Um, okay, so. I take about a, just a regular teaspoonful. And it may seem like a lot, but I really want to kill this, this infection. Oh, Annalise, you will not be happy with that, but you're a good helper. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this is the hard part because it's pretty strong, but has a great aftertaste too. And I know Chase it'll make it me water. feel better. Yeah, <laughs> so a lot of water. So what I do is I put all of this in my mouth and then I swish with a bunch of water, a full mouthful of water, and then slowly drink it down. And if I swish it, if I swish it first, I should only be getting a portion of this at a time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> All right. Six swallows for me with my tiny throat. <laughs> but um, I did this just 15 minutes ago, same amount. I don't mind a little bit of garlic fresh in my mouth, raw. <laughs> it's a little bit strong though. But anyway, just 15 minutes ago, I, I did the same thing, same amount. And I really actually notice a big difference in how I feel. Um, it's definitely taken the edge off of the, the, the pressure pain in my head. It's actually kind of the same feeling as when I take, what are those, the white pills called? Zinc? No, the, uh, not ibuprofen, but. Oh, uh, uh, acetaminophen. Oh, acetaminophen, yeah. So I'll take two of those and honestly, it's the same feeling. Like it takes the edge of the pain off and the pressure goes down. It's amazing, it really is amazing. Okay, next thing. Next thing is first you gotta see. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. <laughs> or at least everyone who's in this room with me. <laughs> On the table. Silly girl. Baby. Hi, Annalise. Uh, Look at that funny smile. 
Oh, she's gonna step on the spicy on the cheese. cheese. <laughs> okay, but that's the next thing. And it's not necessarily cheese, but it is the peppers that are in this particular cheese. This is pepper jack. Where's and, a clean knife that doesn't oh, right have here. Well, it garlic. has garlic on it, but but it's fine. It'll be I good. don't want the garlic. I don't. <laughs> well, it. it's kind of it's kind of amazing how much. Oh, it has a baby bite out of that side, so I'm gonna take it off of this side. <laughs> It's amazing how much spicy stuff can make you feel better, especially from a sinus infection. And because it's satisfying to watch people eat sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I love this stuff. It is does have a nice little burn, but I can feel it draining my sinuses and just softening everything and uh, such a relief. So if you can stand anything hotter, well, peppers, hot peppers, are a great way to go. And they, uh, we've done a video before about cayenne and the other benefits of that. Um, it can stop internal and external bleeding. But spicy stuff, if it's spicy, it, uh, obviously, if it's spicy, it's spicy. Anyway, but spicy stuff, spicy food is a great remedy for all kinds of problems and sicknesses. <laughs> I don't actually taste the garlic. Oh, you don't? Mm -hmm. I sure smell it still. Mm. What is that? Do you like that, Emmy? I didn't try it. I don't know what that is. It's, it's a piece gross. of that dried up jalapeno pepper. You want to try it? It just tastes like a jalapeno popper. Kind of like a popper? Yeah, yeah. actually it does. What? Uh, um, Ooh, if we stuck this in, like, with some bacon or something, then it would be like a little Oh, yeah. Or fry it in, like, chicken nugget stuff. Just, oh, like batter? Yeah. Oh, like mozzarella sticks? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of peppers, here are pepper just seeds. some bell pepper seeds. <clears throat> these are obviously from an orange one. <laughs> See some leftover skin there. And these are just purchased ones at the store. And they do great for gardening. They come up and they fruit. No problem at all. A good way to save money. That's probably $3 worth of seeds there. We're absolutely free. Because we already paid for the food and we got these out of it. All right. Mm -hmm. The third thing that we use is, what's this? Salt. Salt. Do you know why we use salt when we're sick? Um, uh, it helps our throat when it's all buggery and make it go away. Yeah. Yeah, that's I want right. to eat that whole block of cheese. <laughs> you like it? Oh yeah, I'm so glad of me. Um, <laughs> so salt, and we like we like this real salt, red <coughs> and real salt. It, it's yummy. it tastes good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it tastes good. It's more natural. It doesn't have crazy stuff in it. Oh, speaking of crazy stuff in salt, we just threw out a whole bunch of salt we had in our food storage pantry because it had yellow prussiate of soda in it which is a lead derivative, I believe, or is it cadmium? Anyway, it's one of the heavy metals. It's derivative of that, uh, an oxide of it or something like that. Regardless, we, <laughs> we've replaced much of it with this and um, we, we go for other brands of, of salt that do not have, have the yellow prussiate of soda in it. Uh, like so, the one holding a, a, a girl holding an umbrella. Yeah, that kind is, is fine. <coughs> And yep. she's pouring the salt behind her. So we don't just cook with this. We use it particularly when we're sick or dehydrated. Now, why salt for dehydration? Well, um, I heard a story a long time ago, and my, my practices are not based on just a story, but it kind of spurred on the, uh, uh, the research phase, I guess. Oh, you're warm. I know. I feel really hot right now. I'm kind of... Um... I was chilly before, but now I feel hot. Um, I feel better. <laughs> I smell like garlic. I do smell like garlic, don't I? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so I once read a, a story saying that um, in the armed forces, when they're fighting in the desert, the first thing, the, the number one thing they, they say you need when you're in a desert situation where you're going to be dehydrated is water, of course. The second most important thing, and this, this got me, maybe you already know this, but the second thing was salt. And the reason being is that if you drink water, it, it adds water to your body, but then it creates 
an imbalance where it actually sucks water out of your cells if you get too much of it. And of course, in a desert situation or a dry situation, you want, you want that. This is getting a little bit off, but I'll come around to, to it in a second. Um, so in order to retain the water in your body, you actually need a certain percentage of salt. And it's, a, it's quite a small percentage. For, a, for a, If you were to drink an entire gallon, you might only need a, like a half a teaspoon for that whole gallon. Don't quote me on that. Like Do your own research. But we get, you know, we get more than that every day, <laughs> probably in our food. And I'm saying probably. So again, do your own research. Don't rely on what I've said, but you can use this idea to spur your own research. But anyway, when we're sick, um, we need electrolytes and salt, table salt, sodium, what is it? I, why have, has my mind gone blank? <laughs> but you can get away with just having this this stuff because it is a little bit lower sodium and higher potassium than, than other salts. I want some. <laughs> but I think it's it's kind of common knowledge. It's you know, most people know that that things like chicken noodle soup are helpful when you're sick. It's because your body needs these electrolytes to, to get better. So we, we actually literally add like a tiny little handful of salt and it doesn't have to be a lot. Sometimes it's just a few grains. Handful. Well, I mean a tiny little a teeny tiny little pile in my hand is what I meant. So like, like ten grains or so if it's so this like um if it's this kosher kind salt. Of as big as a skittle. That would probably be too much. Yeah, unless you drink a whole bunch of water before, before that. And sometimes we need more and sometimes we need less. It, it kind of depends on your current needs, how much you've been working or how much you've been sweating or mm. how sick you are. Basically, um, in my experience, in our experience, <coughs> um, your body kind of knows how much salt it needs. And if you drink a water with a little bit of salt added, uh, try it out and it'll probably taste really good to you and be more satisfying than just... I mean, the f actual flavor will be more satisfying be than like just water. Sweet yumminess. Mm -hmm. mm. Especially if you use this stuff. This stuff is very good. He's uh, yummy. Wait, the, which one? That uh, one? The, and then the bag, yeah. Well, so sometimes we'll actually supplement our, our normal diet, which includes our regular intake of salt, with just regular, with just a tiny bit of salt. And oh, we'll chase it with water. Um, so, anyway, that's a long explanation to bring into this. Probably one of the best ways. Mm, a nice hearty stew. So our stew is made with nice fresh ground beef, potatoes freshly cut, and onions and carrots and celery, and a nice heaping handful <laughs> of bay leaves. And I feel like that's the secret ingredient. Oh yeah, and then a dash of uh, liquid smoke. And there's no exact recipe because it's all to taste. And then of course, salt and water, again, to taste. Mmm, delicious. And by the way, the water's not for taste, Banjo just said. <laughs> that, that's true, but we wouldn't get much of a stew without the water, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it would um, be a mushy stew. This may be common knowledge as well, but we're always having to remind us, remind ourselves of this fact that stew and soup always tastes better on the second day. Always, always, and even better on the third day. Yep. So we need to start learning how to plan our weeks so that we make it before we want it, but how do we know if we want it? Anyway, <laughs> if there were a way to do that, that would be ideal. <laughs> because it is so much better the second day when all the flavors have imbued into each other and the the, and the, the leaves, the, the bay leaves. The broth has, is more really creamy. It. Oh, I think that, yeah, it might be because the potatoes and carrots have kind of you know, seeped into the water. I don't know. Anyway, that <laughs> is the best part. <laughs> the baby. Hey, the baby. Hi, Annalise. Hi. <laughs> Annalise is almost almost, one. A, almost a one, one years old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One year old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can kind of talk, huh? Oh, there we go. You say hi. I'll wave at least. Hi. She tries to whisper it. Hi. Hi. She's not in the mood right now. <laughs> We have to include this because everybody needs baby time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Well, at least she's smiling. Yeah. You want chip? If you've stayed this long, I'm going to give you a little bonus um, help for uh, getting rid of infections. There's two parts to this one. Oregano oil 
essential oil and get a, get a good brand. We trust this one for this particular oil. Um, or fresh oregano or even, um, even uh, powdered, like spice grade oregano. Um, so oregano is, an, is a natural antibiotic. It's also very yummy. And pizza uses a lot of it. It's a great way to get it in your body. But if you want... Mm. Mm. I, I just smell it. You can actually... Mm, <laughs> does, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> it is dangerously strong. And I do mean dangerously strong. Um, Don't in, touch in its, it on your eyes. Essential in oil. essential oil form, if it's not um, cut with a carrier oil. But... Um, Recently, I had an infection on my knee. I knelt hard on something, and my knee got all hot and red and Weird. puffy. Yeah, I was definitely infected. And I put this on it two or three and times a day at first, and then, then down to one that's once a day when it looked like it was getting better. And it got better really fast, actually. It's a really, really powerful um, antibiotic. Don't Topically. Topically, yes. Thank oh, you, honey. Good. <laughs> on the skin. <laughs> And I, I, I used it pure, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend that because it was quite painful. Um, but I was, it was kind of painful uh, and, to begin with, so Emmy I was willing to, to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, it hurt Emmy when we did it, but she got used to it, and she yeah. actually asked for it after a while, and that helped a, a rash go away on Emmy. Of course, it causes a little bit of a rash <laughs> when you're not used to it. <laughs> anyway, uh, do it with some caution. But you can actually um, eat um, dried oregano or fresh oregano. If you don't like the taste or if it's too strong for you, put it in a little um, capsule. Um, what's it oh, called? Yeah. A gelatin capsule. Mm -hmm. And it'll go down easy and make you feel nice and warm inside and, and better really quickly. All right. Oh, in a capsule? No, no, no sorry. The, the fresh or dried oregano. Okay. Don't take this internally. <laughs> Some people do, but I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd be afraid. Neither. I'd be afraid of getting that, a hole in my stomach. That's gets into the dangerous realm. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, I mean, what? Thank you for pointing that out, honey. Yeah, that's when it would be dangerous. So don't drink this or put it in your body. Or do so at your own risk. But I'm not recommending it. <laughs> All right, well, we're getting ready to sit down to dinner. We're going to eat that, that nice pot of stew. And I am actually... I'm not making this up. I <laughs> really not. I'm finally, I was chill, chilly. And was I wearing my hood at the beginning of the video? <laughs> anyway, yeah, <laughs> now I'm quite comfortable. Um, I still have, you know, I, can, I can definitely still, you know, feel a little congested, but it's nothing like before. <coughs> and uh, it's, it hasn't been very long. No. So, again, just proof <coughs> in person that, that the garlic works um, and... I've been Everything taking the other things works. too. Yeah, all this stuff is good for you. And it might help you too. Anyway, hope this has been helpful for you and I will try to make another video soon. Bye. <laughs>